So some people talk about BMI. Do you think that's a better indicator of your overall health? Or? So it's, it's, it's funny because um, I have this argument a lot, of, even with my personal physician, because I will go to the doctor mm -hmm. and I, as you can see, I'm not overweight. Um, but my BMI is high. Uh -huh. And why is that? Because I weigh more than I look because I have a lot of lean mass. I have muscle. So in terms of BMI being the correct sort of measurement, it's not always because if you are a bodybuilder or a athlete or a muscular person, you're going to be heavier than the norm and your BMI is going to be higher. So what I use in my um, office um, with my clients is body composition. Okay. So like body fat percentage. Exactly. Okay. So when you do that, one of the things that I, I've also been taught is not uh, is to do simpler things, like say use your belt size. Is that something that you recommend or is it? Yes. It's, okay. uh, first of all, it's very tangible. Yeah. You know, you, you're on a diet and all of a sudden, whoops, you know, my yeah. belt is loose and you feel great. But the other thing is that waist circumference is really a indicator of health. So a woman, um, we want to be under um, 35 inches sure. and a man needs to be under 40. Mm -hmm. If we climb over those inches, we're looking at health risks that are, you know, definitely a concern. So it's not a bad idea to, to do measurements that way.